Elder Melvin J. Ballard came to dedicate the continent of South America on Christmas Day in 1925. At the time, President Russell M. Nelson was 15 months old. The entire growth of the church in South America has happened in the prophet's lifetime. My grandfather went out into the streets of Argentina. They didn't have a great harvest. They didn't see the uh, people flock into the church by any means. A few months later, before leaving, he made that prophecy that uh, these countries would grow from an acorn to a, uh, an oak tree. El roble viene de una pequeña semilla de bellota que toma años y décadas para llegar a ser un árbol fuerte. Con el mensaje del presidente David o. McKay, cada miembro un misionero. Con la apertura de las misiones, la iglesia empezó a explotar. It's important for us to shake the hands of the missionaries. You know that when you hold their hand, you can feel their commitment. You look into their eyes, you really do see the light of the gospel. South America has grown to millions and millions of members. And it's not just numbers, it's strength, it's power, it's faith. It's almost palpable. Hoy día, mi esposa y yo tenemos cinco hijos y 18 nietos y un bisnieto, todos nacidos en la iglesia. The work of the Lord will grow slowly for a time here, just as an oak grows slowly from an acorn. But thousands will join the church here. It will be divided into more than one mission and will be one of the strongest in the church. The work here is the smallest it will ever be. The South American mission will be a power in the church. You're just seeing the beginning. There's much more to come. <laughs>